everybody to Pac-12 football presented this afternoon by Barbasol here at Alaska Airlines Field at Husky Stadium. Tristan Viscano, the sophomore from Chino Hills, California, getting set now to kick off for the Huskies who won the toss deferred and will be kicking to the Utah State Aggies. Taking it out of the end zone is Jalen Davis. Has a lane to the 20 and he's mowed over at the 19-yard line. From Houston, Texas, in the gun, on first down to get things started. They swing it out to Lawan Hunt. He's got a first down and more across the 30, and it's chopped down near the 37-yard line. Buda Baker, you'll hear his name repeated throughout the afternoon, comes up to make the stop from the safety position. He is a sophomore from right here in Bellevue, Washington, across the lake. Movement across the front line, it looks to be against the Aggies. And the big man on the end, Jake Simonovich, the junior from Danville, California, so the Aggies penalized. Keaton goes to work, two men in the backfield, and he'll hand off again. This one to Lawan Hunt, who is knocked down near the 35-yard line. Keep an eye all afternoon for Corey Littleton, number 42, right at the bottom of your screen. He's probably their most active player on defense. Very quiet personality, but he can come off the edge, played a lot of football, 113 tackles heading into this game this afternoon. Feeney, Victor, Bieria, and Littleton, the linebackers for Washington. Second and 12. Keaton the handoff to Hunt, gets a block, drags a tackler across the 40-yard line. He's going to be shy of the first down. Keaton sends out trips to the right and now brings a man in motion, Devontae Robinson. The handoff is to Hunt and he is knocked down well short of the first down. The average nearly 42 yards in punting against Utah in the loss a week ago. Dante Pettis is back. He can go. This is a wobbly kick that flutters down near the 23-yard line, and that's where the Huskies will go to work. Handoff on first down. Browning, quick drop, has a man, slanting here to the near side, miscommunication. Braden Lenny has turned in, the pass was out. Third and long, let's see with Jonathan Smith and company dial up. Browning will drop, hard rush, steps up in the pocket, he's going to be dragged down near the 19-yard line. There's the pressure that Yogi alluded to, and it was Torrey Green who came in off the outside linebacking position to get him. Well, you see the left tackle, number 72. That's true freshman Trey Adams. This is his first career start playing that left side. They said in normal pass protection, they're not worried about him. But when things get chaotic, when there's havoc, variety of blitzes, defensive linemen stemming and moving at different angles, they're worried. That's a great example. No one was on him at the beginning of the snap. Then all of a sudden, pressure came. He was late. They got to Browning. Corey Durker will punt. Hunter Sharp is back. The man who's been suspended the last couple of games activated today, and he's mowed down at the 30-yard line. Outstanding play by the Huskies to get down in coverage. Lawan Hunt, Devontae Mays, the two men in the backfield. Little delay. The handoff comes to Devontae Mays, and the Huskies immediately sniff that out. Chucky Keaton goes to work on second down, scanning across the middle, pass complete, but again, the Huskies are there. Third and 12, Keaton is back, looking long, near sideline, pass broken up, intended out there to Hunter Sharp, and a flag thrown late on the play. That's interference, defense number 14. Ball be placed at the spot of the foul, first down. Remember, you can have your hands on a wide out up until the ball's in the air. What they're looking at is the right arm. If your right arm as a corner is around the hip, they're going to call that. Yeah. You know, they just are. I, I don't agree that it's pass interference, but the way that the play is called, that happens every time at every level of football. So a great play. 
by Jones. But that's going to get called every time. Aggies trying to take advantage. They go underneath a little late developing screen to the left side. And tumbling down as Andrew Rodriguez after the catch. Fakes the handoff, takes the ball back, and then plows across the 45 yard line. And man, he took a shot. They bring Hunter Sharp to the backfield. The handoff to Sharp. He works to the left side, and he is knocked down at the line of scrimmage by the Huskies, who've been very active up front. He's back to throw. Miraculously, he's got some mobility now and throws here to the near sideline, but took a shot after delivering that pass. Aaron Dalton on to punt. And again, a wobbler, Dante Pettis. We'll watch this one roll out of bounds inside the Husky 20 yard line. Nope. Huskies go to work from their own 17 yard line. Browning back to throw on first down, and the pass complete on a slant across the middle to Braden Lenius. Here's the handoff. Toss to the back, then to Browning, and then on up the field to Daryl Daniels and a completion to Daniels. It was Marvin Hall who caught the pass. And a big pop up front on first down. Jeff Linkwist, the quarterback, will hand off to Mickens. He tries to get free. On a reverse to the far side, and he is knocked down near the 46 yard line. Mickens and Pettis come to the near side of the formation. Mickens in motion through the formation, and Browning back to throw on a screen up the middle. And this is good for Husky first down. Dwayne Washington on the delay. First down for the Huskies. And they go heavy formation to the left of Browning. And he'll sweep the ball that way. And this is Washington with a stiff arm and then across the 35 yard line. Again they toss it to Washington. Looks inside and decides to veer outside and is brought down on a nice open field tackle. Third and long now for the Huskies and movement up front. And flags fly. Offsides defense causing the offense to react. Five yard penalty. Mains third down. Third and six, multiple formations, multiple personnel for Chris Peterson, eight years at Boise State. And that was a trademark, and so it is here at Washington. Cameron Van Winkle is on. He hit field goals of 40 and 28 against Boise State, missed a 46 yarder, which would have tied the game and put it into overtime. But this one from 48 yards away, he drills. 3 0 on a 48 yard field goal from Cameron Van Winkle. Tristan Viscano will get into this one. Hunter Sharp will take it in the end zone and a touchback. Keaton on first down, swings a man out of the backfield. It's Hunter Sharp. They're going to try to get him loose. He eludes a tackler and sprawls ahead across the 30 yard line. Watching Chucky Keaton during the timeout was Lewis Johnson. Kevin, uh, fair to say there were some tense moments here when Keaton limped off the field. Matt Wells came back to check on his quarterback. Trainers were all over him looking at that right knee. Then they went to the travel bag, pulled out the brace. You see they put that brace on the right knee. Keaton got up and threw some balls. The backup warmed up a little bit, but Keaton, as you can see, back out on the field. Thank you, Lewis. Flag on the play. Illegal formation. Offense, five men in the backfield. Five-yard penalty. Main second down. It'll be second and seven for the Aggies. Keaton looking long near side and throws this one incomplete. On first down, they go again to the ground. Devontae Mays, a pickup of a few on the play. They swing it out to Hunter Sharp. He got rattled. Ball is free. It looks like the Aggies have recovered. With the speed, the athleticism of UW's defense, they got to get rid of the ball quickly. He goes to work on third and seven. Has time. Throws a wobbler, and that's nearly 
Intercepted as it sailed over the head of Devontae Robinson. Aaron Dalton again to punt for Utah State. He's not hit a ball square today. That one is a little better this time. Daniels and Perkins load up to the right of Browning on first down. Steps up, dirty pocket, throws on the run to the far sideline and threw it away. David Moala applies pressure up front, the senior from Inglewood, California. 6'2 and 300 pounds coming at Browning, the freshman. Look at Coleman Shelton as they go to work and try to work the boundary to the near side with Miles Gaskin, but he ran out of room. Nick Vigil came up to make the stop. Boy, did he ever. Will the Aggies bring the house? They stunt, they loop, they bring five. Browning reacts beautifully, flaring it outside of Washington for the first down. He's across the 40. High step into the 50. Dwayne Washington has space ahead and into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. 81 yards, Dwayne Washington. UW up 10 nothing, but check this last play out. Jake Browning's job as the quarterback is to look at the boundary safety, the boundary outside linebacker. That's going to tell him everything, where pressure is coming from. They look like they're coming. A lot of times when it looks like pressure is coming, it's not. No pressure comes on third and 11. And for the second time on third and 11, this ball game, Jake Browning absolutely takes the check down, takes what the defense gives him, does not freak out, quiets his mind, slides in the pocket, understands where he needs to read to know where pressure is or is not coming from, and clearly makes Utah State pay with a big-time completion and then a touchdown. Hunter Sharp to bring it out for the Aggies. Has a lane across the 30. Bounces out 35 to the 40. Off to the near side. Hesitates. Nearly stumbles and he's dragged down into Husky territory inside the 40-yard line. Off to the near side on first down. Lawan Hunt is summoned. And he is swarmed under inside the Husky 40-yard line. A gain of maybe one or two on the play. Needs one for the record this afternoon. He stands still in the pocket, throws to the near side, releasing out of the backfield, Lawan Hunt. And he is chopped down near the 30 yard line, very close to a first down for the Aggies. A little quick shot up the middle, Lawan Hunt plows ahead to the 25. Travis Feeney comes up to make the stop. First down now for the Aggies. Keaton on first down, he's going to go to the air, and it's nearly intercepted. In and out of the hands of Darren Gardenhire, who was right there looking it into the mitts, but it would not stick. Keaton got away with one there. They love Darren Gardenhire. His ball skills, his ability, clearly wants that one back. I'm sure he might get a little ribbing from his cousin, who, by the way, is Dwayne Washington. Who had the long touchdown catch, but they love his length and really at the corner position here. They got a lot of depth. Kevin King, Garden Hire, Sidney Jones, three of the more talented corners in this conference. And Buda Baker, who you just mentioned, a sophomore. Keaton goes to work, and the handoff is to Mays, bounces off the pile, turns to the near side, and is able to get across the 10 yard line. Garden Hire again came up to wrap him up that time, but what a reaction that was by Mays. It got stopped initially and then bounced it outside, Yogi. Well, Mays is the thunder, really, to Hunt's lightning. You know, he's a big guy. See him change the ball. That's exactly what you're taught to do. Try to get a little context. He can get an extra one at the end. They go power, and they go back to the big man. He plows across the five-yard line. Devontae Mays has gotten Utah State down to the threshold. Azim Victor came up to make the stop. Keep an eye on Brandon Swindoll wide to the right. They hand off up the middle. And again this is Mays. He is dragged down. Sharp the man in motion to the near side. Keaton looking that direction. Pump fakes throws back in the end zone. Sails over the head of Hunter Sharp. Brooke Warren is on to kick. The junior from Hyde Park, Utah, a 22 yarder in his sights, and the field goal is good. Chico McClatcher 
Great young freshman and back for the Huskies. McClatcher with vision and the head up. Spins across. Jeff Lindquist is back in the lineup. The man with the wheels at quarterback. Across the 45 yard line and a gain of six. Second down and two thanks to Lindquist. And on second down they go to Miles Gaskin who is dragged down. Just across the line of scrimmage. Filiunga with a stop. LT a transfer from Utah. Third and four for the Huskies. Browning throws near side and the slant caught by Braden Lenius for a first down and the Huskies move the chains near midfield. Settles in. Steps up. Checks down. Throws near side. And the man again coming out of the backfield was Washington. This time Utah State gets to him. Daniel Gray the junior from Fort Lauderdale Florida made the tackle but lost his hat. He'll come out for one down. Gray had him and then Kyler Fackrell came up to finish him off. Browning loads up to the left side, fakes the toss that side, then rolls out to the near side. Beautifully diagrammed play. Making the catch was Daryl Daniels. The 6-4 tight end, and he is deep into Utah State territory. Keep an eye on Kyle Fackel, the defensive end. He rushes all the way down. Saw him at the top of your screen. It's a simple naked play. That means you fake the run, you come out the back door. Browning quick hit left side Mickens gets a block downfield Mose across the 10 yard line and he's inside the 10. Jeff Lindquist the quarterback. Will fake the handoff he'll keep. And he's knocked down just shy of the five. McClatcher and Lenius the two wide Browning quickly to the line of scrimmage under center. A surge he goes off right tackle and is knocked down. From Browning to Dwayne Washington coming free out of the backfield. Browning turns, fakes the handoff, does a 360, gets across the five yard line, and then is pushed back. Linquist working right side, trying to plow ahead and does near the three yard line. So it brings up third and goal. They put in their heavy set. They pull Coleman Shelton, who started a week ago in left tackle. And Jake Strong. Not that strong. Jeff Strong, not that strong. Third and goal. Will toss left side. Dwayne Washington trying to beat defenders to the far boundary. Can't do it. Devin centers the free safety. The junior from Chandler, Arizona, sprints out to cut him off. Try to utilize the athleticism. That's tough though, because you know you're going to kick it there. You know, I would have loved to see them throw the ball there. Utilize your playmakers. Tristan Viscano is on to kick the field goal. And he's going to fake it. He's going to run. He's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Cameron Van Winkle, ordinarily the field goal kicker, but they went to Tristan Viscano, who had lined up for a 20 yarder. And he sprints into the end zone. Washington on the board with some trickery. Not really sure how to celebrate, but how about that? Are you kidding me? That's that's perfect, man. This Kano. Specialists don't get that type of love. And I was wondering when he got up there to kick the field goal, he just kept moving his feet. It's like, man, this guy's yeah. not set. He's no. not going to make this field goal. No. This Kano runs for the touchdown, adds the extra point, and then kicks off deep into the end zone. That's a full day for most guys. <laughs> a 
on second and seven. Hard rush. Unloads near side to Hunt coming out of the backfield and he is pushed out of bounds. Keaton under center on third and one and churning his legs is Lawan Hunt. Looked like he got the nose of the football across the 35 yard line. Chucky Keaton the now fifth year senior out of Houston Texas with the handoff. And they work it again to Lawan Hunt. Wyatt Houston lines up as the up back. Lawan Hunt to the right hip. Of Chucky Keaton. Who will throw and unwinds and throws a dart across the 50 yard line. Boy, he really let that one go to Hunter Sharp. Yeah, we, we talk so much about his grit and resiliency. This, this guy can play. You know, he can flat out deal, and he's been doing it for a long time. He saw it as a true freshman week one when they go to Auburn, almost upset Auburn after they came off a national championship game. You've seen it against Pac-12 caliber teams over the last couple of years when he's been healthy. Good to see him back out in the, in the field and rip that one. He's 9 of 14 this afternoon. Play action, stumbles to his right, throws it out of bounds. Hard rush applied. Travis Feeney, the senior from Richmond, California. Third and 10 for Keaton and company. Looking long, up the seam, pass complete. This is Sharp, can he get away? He will! Diving into the end zone. Or was he down at the one? Down at the goal line. Was Hunter Sharp after the catch and the run? Well, here comes pressure right up the middle. Chucky Keaton, he just wears it again, delivers a strike. UW players go for the knockout shot at the safety position. To number four. He does the absolute rest. I mean, th this young man, they missed him, right? He was suspended, violation of team rules, first two games, come back today, big kickoff return, big play potential there. Talk to their offensive coordinator. Josh Heupel, he says, look, he's one of the best I've ever seen. Remember, Heupel had been in Oklahoma for so yep. many years, seen so many explosive players. Keaton under center. Full house backfield. They give the call to Hunt. And he's down just inside the one yard line. Travis Feeney came up to get low. Utah State into the end zone. Moala, the nose guard, got the call. 300 pounder plows ahead. Moala, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they won the toss and they deferred to Utah State. So here's McClatcher now at the 10. Plows ahead across the 25 yard line, and that is where Jake Browning will set up shop a 19 yard return. Huskies leading by seven. Browning spots a man coming free over the middle to the 40 yard line. Dante Pettis makes the catch and quickly the Huskies back to the line of scrimmage as they move the chains on a first down. Great job by Jadon Mickens. He pulled the outside linebacker that opened it up. Browning again sets up double clutches throws far side a little back shoulder flip over there. Contact made, but no whistle. Brayden Lenius the intended receiver. Deshane Haynes. Make that Deshane Hines in coverage. Oh man. Had a hand right in the face mask as the ball was thrown in the vicinity of Lenius. Browning has dealt to five different receivers, Yogi. He steps back, hard rush, avoids green, throws on the run, and throws it out of bounds. Feels the pressure. Throws out here to an area to the near side and out of bounds. Punt hammered into the air. Boy, is that a beauty. Durkee sends it down there and it checks at the two yard line and out of bounds.
Now they got to kick it back to the Husky McClatcher in his own end zone. Browning back to throw looking far side the ball sails over the head of the intended receiver and may have been intercepted and it was hauled in by Daniel Gray. Gray intercedes jumps in front of Jadon Mickens and comes down with a pick the first play of the second half. There's the big play that Utah State was looking for. Well, Gray's playing that deep safety and he just runs all the way over the top. It's like Mickens doesn't realize the ball's even in the air. Not sure if it was the sun or what happened there. And that was kind of an easy, easy interception. And oh, by the way, that's the first turnover for this defense. They give it to Robinson. He looks for some space on the edge and gets none. Second and 12. Utah State 50 percent of converting a third down at third and 12 here Keaton looking slings it high into the air and the Huskies get it back with an interception down near the 20 yard line. They bring pressure up front it's been happening all afternoon long Chucky Keaton just launches one into coverage. Only one receiver three Washington players near near the ball. Kevin King, great ball skills, probably the best ball skills out of anyone in that secondary. You got to throw it up at times, see if you guys can make plays. Trade and interceptions there. King, a starter at safety last year, moved to corner. Browning then goes back to work. And on first down, the handoff of the Huskies go back to the ground, just trying to keep Utah State honest up front. And Miles gets across the 30 to about the 33 yard line. The fake a handoff. He spins and leans forward. And no gain here, maybe even a loss of one or two on the play as Gaskins upended by Nick Vigil. Huskies on second and 12. Trips to the left of Browning. He eyeballs the trio. He is forced to rush. He's got a man out there to block for him. He throws to the far boundary. That's a first down. And the Huskies on the move. Trying to cut it back was Gaskin picking his way through there. And that's a gain of three or four on the play. Right up the middle. Pass complete. And into Utah State territory with a first down and much more. Braden Lenius. Well, they recognize zone coverage. Lenius just gets right behind the backers, finds a spot. And this is where Jake Browning thrives. He's good at pure progression throws. When he used to go from one to two, he went outside to his inside receiver, dropped it right over the backers, moved the chains. Marvin Evans makes the tackle on Lenius. And the Huskies go to work with 9.58 left here in the third. Browning looking for the bundle, looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Washington! Beautifully thrown ball. It was Dwayne Washington with his second TD catch of the afternoon as he blows by Torrey Green on the edge. Phenomenal job of this coaching staff understanding matchups. It's just vertical routes. They know that the backer is going to be on Washington in man-to-man -man coverage. Chucky Keaton on play action steps up out of the pocket. He's going to run, and he gets his head down across the 30-yard line. Gain of five on the play. Husky stunt across the front line. Keaton fakes a handoff. That may have been a broken play as he faked the handoff to Lawan Hunt and leans forward. Rodriguez, the man in motion. He works into the slot to the right of Keaton. He is pressured. Finds Rodriguez, makes the catch, but he got walloped and is possibly shy of the first down. There is a flag on the play. Pass interference. Offense, number 83. That penalty is declined. Fourth down.
Second and one for Browning. And again Washington in an envious position. A lot of options here. Fake bootleg avoid the rush throw near side and the pass complete. And again Browning fakes the handoff and unloads deep ball far sideline pass caught and complete. Jadon Mickens makes the catch and that ball was thrown on a dime beautifully done by Browning on the move to his right throwing back to his left. Oh, an incredible job I and mean, you'll see the receivers right here. It's going to be an over route right there. An incredible job by Jake Brown. Again, play action pass. Jadon Mickens, it's like he's running an over route. He bends it back to the sideline. That is an absolute dime piece by the true freshman, Jake Brown. Fourth catch, five targets, 54 yards for Jadon Mickens, the fine senior. Here's a handoff surveying is Gaskin and gets across the 30 yard line again and maybe one on the play. Browning has been elusive. He has just been hauled down once for a sack. This time he unloads as he gets hit and completes a pass. Here's a direct snap to Lindquist. The big man rumbles inside the three yard line. So the Huskies use a little bit of uh, thunder and lightning at quarterback. Levon Coleman. They fake the handoff to him. They roll Browning out. He eludes two defenders. He's on the run. He looks into the end zone. He throws back and across <laughs> and complete and a touchdown to Drew Sample. The redshirt freshman from Bellevue gets a look. He grabs it in the end zone and he's swarmed under by his teammates. Browning likes that one. <laughs> and why not? They always say don't throw back across your body, especially in the red zone. But Jake Browning, he's feeling it right now. I mean, he's feeling his vibe. He just drops another dime in there, completes an easy touchdown. What I love about him is swagger came out a little bit, too. Utah State's Hunter Sharp. Here is Keaton, throws near side. This is to Sharp, and he is mowed down. Third and eight, the Aggies four of 10 and third down conversions this afternoon. Keaton is back, hard rush, throws on the move, got hit, throws and complete to the near side. Chucky Keaton hangs in there like a gamer and finds Dax Raymond open along the near boundary for the first down. I'll tell you what, he's throwing, he has no base to him when he's making this throw. This is all arm. And he's hobbling. I mean, everywhere he's going, he looks like he's in pain. Keaton will hand off. Lawan Hunt got smacked across the 45-yard line. Kennedy Williams, the man in motion, into the slot to the right of Keaton. One man in the backfield, back to throw. Williams had it, juggled it, and then came down with it. They'll rule it a complete pass and a first down for the Aggies. Sharp the man in motion. They hand off and go up the middle to Hunt. He's turned away and then knocked down. Three tacklers converge on Hunt. McIntosh gets there. Second and ten. Keaton looking into the sunshine. Hands off. Keaton adjusts, hard rush, unloads, ball down the field, caught, and complete down inside the Husky 15-yard line. What a grab that was by Kennedy Williams. Wow. And they're going to want to see the other angle. The officials couldn't see if the ball dropped or not, just based on their position on the field. And that was the knee that After got further hit. review, the pass was incomplete. The ball be placed at the 46-yard line with 11 yards to go. Washington throwing numbers from the right side of Keaton. He unloads, has a man across the middle and the pass complete. Zach Van Leeuwen makes the catch. This is Sharp, the man in motion through the formation. They give it to Hunt and he is spilled down near the 26 yard line of Washington. Inside the Husky 30, back to throw, straightens and fires a bullet. But that one ripped out of the hands of Wyatt Houston. 
Sends Hunt out of the backfield, line up deep to the far side. Keaton is back throwing near side. They go underneath to Sharp, and he is plowed under. Fourth and one. Keaton trying to rally the Aggies. Fakes a handoff, rolls out, hard pressure, tried to flick it ahead. The ball is picked up off the turf. Keyshawn Bieria on the hard rush. Was it ruled an incomplete pass or a fumble? Complete pass. Beautiful throw and catch. Dwayne Washington, who's already caught a couple of touchdown passes this afternoon, gallops to the far boundary and a flag on the play. Hey. Holding offense number 58, 10 yard penalty, Maine's first down. Through the air, seven for seven, two touchdown passes since he threw an interception to start the third quarter. He set up his middle screen this time, and Dwayne Washington is hit hard at the 15 yard line. Browning sets a back foot, delivers, pass complete, ball jarred free, it's loose, it is recovered by Utah State. And a flag is thrown on the play, but the Aggies will have possession of the ball down near the 25-yard line. Lenius made the catch, and then it was popped free. Tyler Floyd ends up grabbing the ball. Floyd, the senior from Orlando, Florida. No pressure comes. Lenius has it. Clearly a catch. Hines was able to wrap him up and flick it free into the hands of Floyd. Personal foul, face mask number 15 on the passing team. Half the distance to the goal, first down. And Hobbs will keep it, and he is stormed under at the line of scrimmage. About the 16-yard line. This is after the Huskies turn the ball over on a catch and then previous and then fumble by Brandon Linnaeus. Now Hobbs. Keaton is back at quarterback. He fires a bullet in the end zone. It is intercepted by Washington. Huskies pick. The second of the afternoon, Brandon Beaver's got it. Does he have enough oxygen to leg it down to the end zone? He's caught by Hunter Sharp down at the three-yard line. Brandon Beaver with the pick and nearly took it to the house. He goes 97 yards. Beaver pressed into service because Buda Baker got nicked up in the first half. Easy read. Now watch number 20 the whole way, Kevin King. He's rolling with his boy. He got a chance. Turn around, man. Get a quick little block. He's looking to his right. Doesn't look to his left. He realizes at the last second, Beaver runs out of gas. <laughs> and he knows it, too. Oh, man, I'm sorry. He's apologizing afterwards. Huskies have it near the goal line. They go to Lindquist, who takes it straight up the middle on first down, first and goal, and is dropped back to about the three-yard line. They go power with Dwayne Washington, the lone man in the backfield. Lindquist will roll, little option, fakes the pitch, but it's picked off. Utah State picks off the pitch. Here they go all the way to the goal line. What a turn of events that was as John Trell Rockamore steps up, scoops the ball off the turf and goes 99 yards the other way. How about that? How the tide can change. They run option right. Linkwitz tries to fake and then he's gonna go and it just the ball just gets stripped. A really nice job by the defensive line of Utah State.
Chico McClatcher will take it in his own end zone. Browning finds a man slamming over the middle and the pass complete. A good for big pickup Isaiah Renfro true freshman. Play action fakes lobs it over the middle through that with beautiful touch. 347 yards and counting Drew Sample has caught a touchdown pass this afternoon the man in motion they go heavy left side and on first down they go to Gaskin he may have gained a yard on the play. They go to Gaskin. He threads his way up the middle. He's across the 50 and into Utah State Territory. He brings Renfro in motion. Here comes the rush. He steps up. He throws. That one complete. Juggled, but complete. And possibly for a first out is Dante Pettis. And that ball in his fingertips. LT Filianga makes the stop, pushing him out of bounds. I like this by Browning. Steps up, climbs in the pocket, takes the hit. Austin, or Mr. Pettis, definitely making his dad proud. So under six minutes remaining in the ball game. Huskies on top by 14. A reverse. And this is Jadon Mickens. And he plows ahead up near the 36-yard line of Utah State. Second and five. Browning the handoff. And again, Gaskin picks his way across the line of scrimmage and may have gained a yard on the play. Backside pressure. Browning throws on the move. Pass complete to the near side. They're going to rule it incomplete. Browning on a hard count trying to draw Utah State offsides. Can't. Throws the ball on fourth down to the far side. Back shoulder catch, but out of bounds. And six goes back to work. Keaton has been laboring all afternoon with a right knee. He fakes, he rolls, he gets the required yardage, and then immediately gets to the deck. Utah State moves the chains and a first down near midfield. Hunter Sharp, man in motion to the far side. They give it to Hunt. Slants across the 50-yard line. Kevin King meets him and plows into him. And again, it may be five or six on the play. Keaton again will go to Hunt. And again, he works the right side. But there is a flag on the play. This is against Utah State. False start. Offense. All the players were in set for a full second. Five-yard penalty. Main second down. Fakes the handoff. He oh. keeps it. And then is knocked down from behind as he gets across the 50-yard line. With 2.36 remaining in this ball game. I, I can't believe he's running the ball. I mean, we've seen him on tape. He's hobbling worse than... Yes. We've seen him, you know, last year at Utah, or last week at Utah, and then obviously throughout this game. Keaton is back, sets his feet, throws near side to Sharp. And he makes the catch and is just shy of the first down. After a further review, the rolling on the field will be an incomplete pass. The ball will be placed at the 48-yard line, five, fourth down and five yards to go. Timer set the game clock to two minutes and 16 seconds. Long count, hard rush, throws on the move. That ball trapped and then dropped incomplete. Huskies will take over, and Keaton is down on the field. Once again chased by Keyshawn Bieria. Second and six. Browning to turn, the handoff. It comes to Gaskin, who finally explodes across the middle and a pickup there to the near 36-yard line. Huskies will let the clock work down on this one, and they come away with a very impressive win over Utah State, a team that's been to four consecutive bowls. They've won the last three. Chris Peterson once again this afternoon leaning heavily on a number of freshmen, including his freshman quarterback, Jake Browning, who was extraordinary today.